Hey guys, it's P Turley84 here, and I'm coming at you with another quick update on the finished uh, Silverado truck. So um, I'm gonna get into this real quick and just show you guys around the truck and let you see how it all turned out. Um, again, for those of you that didn't know before, this truck is gonna be the towing rig for the uh, 64 Chevy Impala back there that I did a little while ago. So, anyway, this is going to be the truck that would tow that, and I did it in the same colors. Um, on video here, it looks a little different, though, because of the lighting, but it's the same. Let me uh, just get in here a little better. There, see, it's the same orange, pretty much as that orange. So, they're like the same color, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's sitting really low and it's like as if he's got it stopped and he's put the um, bags all the way down and the front's got some really serious camber to it and the back's just fit nice and snug so looks really good um, anyway so here's the front I uh, black washed in the grill and down in there and then a did the headlights um, with some like around black around the edges to make them look a little more realistic uh, and the paint scheme on the front instead of just going all the way down I just brought it down onto the front so I could go ahead and paint the front bumper and everything orange because I thought that looked the best so uh, sorry for the shakiness guys but I got a new camera and I'm not quite used to holding it so but uh, these are the wheels that uh, I've got on there. They're Pegasus wheels. Um, 20, I think they're 23s, I think. So, um, now on the back, I don't have a trailer hitch hooked up on this yet. I just haven't made one, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it. So, I still have to do that. So, it's pretty much done except for the tow hitch but um, the back looks really good I like the exhaust I think that looks really cool how it's coming out of that uh, panel underneath the bottom there and then here is the uh, like tenu cover that I put on there just because I had messed up the bed and so I didn't really know how I was going to fix it so I just put a cover on it and then you don't even see it so uh, let me show you guys the interior uh, if you can see um, okay there we go uh, there's the interior and my mom actually has a um, Yukon Denali which has the same exact interior as these and so I had looked at her car when they came over and seen how it was inside so I tried to get it pretty close to hers but um, let's see, there's the back, and then the front. Let me show you the other side. So there's the. See the dash a little better down in there, and the steering wheel. So anyway, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, let me show you the motor. Here's the motor and um, I like how it turned out looks pretty good it's got pretty good detail I'd have to say um, it's pretty easy to put together too and uh, it had the detail in there already for the spark plug wires which uh, you can kind of see right there on the sides a the little black lines coming down so I just had to paint those in but it looks pretty good. Um, overall, it was a pretty easy build. Uh, I had some trouble at the end trying to get it all together and sitting on the frame properly. Um, it didn't want to sit properly, so it's a little bit tweaked. But um, you can't really tell, so I'm happy with it. Uh, anyway, oh, let me show you the bottom. I weathered the bottom and everything. So, uh, I wanted to show you guys that. Um, there it is. 
and basically I kind of rusted the exhaust up, I kind of scratched the bottom, dirtied the bottom a little bit, make it look like he's dragged it a few times because he had it low. And I'll show you. So yeah, there's the front um, suspension set up. Uh, a little rust on the bottom of the motor, and then of course the exhaust is rusted up some. The drive shaft is a little rusted, a lot of dirt underneath the chassis and whatnot. So uh, just a little bit of rust paint dabbed around here and there. And I used Gecko Man's tutorial on how to weather the bottom a little bit with um, dry brushing. So thanks man for posting that up. I really appreciate it. That helped me out. I used your technique and I think it turned out actually really good. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's the bottom. But overall, the whole setup is really nice and I just have to get that tow hook made so it'll sit up and again that's what it would look like when it was towing it and uh, I'm really happy with the kit it's got a lot of detail the interior is extremely detailed so uh, if you're looking for a kit with some nice detail then the Silverado Custom is a good one and um, they've quit carrying it at Hobby Lobby so I imagine you could probably still get it online I'm not sure where but they just quit carrying it there, and um, I don't know, you know, if they'll carry it again or not. But I'm sure you can find it online. And um, so anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like it. Leave me comments and let me know what you think. And I will probably be posting up another video sometime soon with my next project that I'm working on. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.